Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu sallam ala nabiya na Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'da habita fila I thought it would be beneficial Because in this time of Kathra ta ikhtilaf We have so many differences And so many various understandings of Islam As the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said That those he said فَمَنْ يَعِيشُ مِنْكُمْ بَعْدِي فَسَيَّرَا اِخْتِلَافٍ كَثِيرًا those who live after me will see many differences. And then he said, he gave us a prescription, It's upon you, my sunnah and the sunnah of the rightly guided. Khulafa al-Rashidin al So then the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said, it's my, uh, upon you, my sunnah and the sunnah of the rightly guided. Khalifa, meaning Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman, wa Ali, radiyallahu ta'ala anhum. And so I thought it would be beneficial to go through uh, some fawaid, some benefits about uh, some of the principles in dealing with Ahl al-Bid'ah, proper principles, because of due to all of these various opinions and various viewpoints and various uh, kawaid that people put forth, we need something that is from the ulama and something from Ahl Sunnah uh, and, and the books of Ahl Sunnah and the Salaf on how to deal with Ahl Bid'ah. So I wanted to mention some very important principles that are taken from a short piece of research entitled Kawaid Almiya fi Radal al Mubtadi'ah. Uh, these are uh, knowledge based principles regarding refuting uh, innovators. And the we'll jump right into it and the first principle that is mentioned al hadr min al hawa wa qad naqala muallif bi inayati kalam shaykh al islam fi bayan athar al hawa ala ara al insan wa tasawwaratihi wa dawarahu wa duruhu fi ihdath al furqa بين المسلمين وسبيل للنجاة من هذا مسلك الخطير. So the first principle that is mentioned uh, has to do with uh, from the principles of أهل السنة in refuting of a مبتدية <coughs> is to هذر من الهوى to warn against desires meaning warn against vain desires and opinions, and we're going to go into detail about that. This is really the muqaddama or the introduction. And all of these principles, before we get into them, they're taken from Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah, his book entitled Minhaj al-Sunnah, which is really a refutation of the Rafida Shia. And so uh, these are some of the principles that are taken from that text. That's the source text. And so by warning against desires that this is a warning against the effects of uh, the desires upon people's viewpoints, the various viewpoints. Because if we, if people are following their desires with regard to their viewpoint, of course they're going to interpret the divine text in different ways. And they're going to use and abuse the divine text in various ways. Also their tesawarat, meaning their, their, their viewpoint of how things, of the reality of, uh, and, and prioritizing things in the deen. Uh, likewise, due to Hawa, people, uh, the Ummah has divided. This is one of the reasons that the Ummah divides. This is the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, If Tarakatil was Sabin Firka, was Tarakat was Sabin Firka, Kullaha Fidnar and Wahida Kunda, Media Yaro Sulullah Kalamet Kana, the Metru Bakana Ali was Habi, Kamakala Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, The Jews break into seventy one sects, Christians seventy two sects, my woman is seventy three sects, all of them in the fire except one. They say, Who are they, Ya Rasulullah? He said, Those who are upon what I'm upon and what my Sahaba Radiallahu Ta'ala Ali Majmaeen are upon. And that hadith <coughs> is known to the ulama as the hadith of iftiraq. 
because it talks about the waqa and the reality that the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, as was prophesized by the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, would divide into sects and groups. And the reason being Al Hawa. And if you look at some of the other narrations of the same hadith, you'll find in uh, Imam Al Alqai Al Alqai's uh, book Usula uh, Itqada Ahl Sunnah. Uh, Imam Khalal and other Aimma, uh, if you look in their books you'll see that they have different narrations with this hadith and some of the narrations actually mention Hawa, that the would break into various uh, Hawa or, or Kamaqil, so it, it shows us that this one of the core reasons for dividing the Ummah is Hawa. And so this is why it's important and why Aqa'id of Ahl Sunnah is to warn against desires, to warn against Hawa, following the divine desires. And the second Qaeda, the second principle, is that Al Adl Mal Muwafiq Wal Mukhalif. So this is very important. And this is what we do not see from some of our brothers and sisters in their reputation. So also, when refuting Ahl al-Bid'ah, if you look at, and all of these Qawaii are taken from Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah. We don't say Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah is ma'asum. That's not what we're saying. We're not saying he's perfect and free from any mistakes or, or, or so forth. But he was Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah, meaning that he, there wasn't a science in Islam that when he wrote about it, or when he talked about it, it was as if that was his specialty. Allah just favored him as a mujiddid, as an imam, uh, and, and as someone who also codified, helped to codify and revive the minhaj of the salaf and preserve the minhaj of the salaf in more contemporary times. So this is uh, one of some of the fwaid of Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah. So he said, and this is so important, he said, or uh, the, the mu'allif, the author said, Al-Adl ma'al muwafiq wal mukhalif. And this is also what's derived from the book Minhaj al-Sunnah. And you'll find this from the text of Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah. Is that he was just with those people who agreed with him, meaning people from Ahl sunnah and those people who differed. Always being just. And that's what Allah orders us to be. So even if the Hizbi'een, even Ahl al-Takfir wa Hijrah, even, even the extreme Sufis, even the Ru'afid, even Jews and Christians, you have to be just with them. Even though they differ with you. Even if they differ with the book and the Sunnah. So I want to stress that, that it's never permissible for you to be oppressive. And it's never permissive you, permissible for you to distort the truth. Even in your refutations. If you're refuting so-and-so and so-and-so in such-and-such uh, organization, you have to do it with justice. And this is why a Rad al is so much better and, and distinguished compared to the Rad which is based on Hawa. Because sometimes people refute Bid'ah with Bid'ah. And that's something we'll talk about later. And this is what we found from many of the sects and the groups. Uh, and some of the ways according uh, with this uh, Qaeda, which is very important, is, uh, and these are ways you could say furu or branches from the same principle, is number one, qabool al-haq min kullu man qalahu bighadha nadhar an ittija'ihi al-aqadi o madhabi. This is so important and I know people do not want to hear this and people definitely don't want to practice this. This part of that same principle of being justice being just is that you take you accept the truth from anyone who says it regardless of if they were uh, a person of correct aqida or the correct meta meaning if a sufi extreme sufi gives me a text from the book of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or gives me something that i've mistaken i have to take it doesn't matter if he's a rafidi shia doesn't matter if he's from the Houthis. it doesn't matter if he's from jamaat tablik it doesn't matter if he's from akhwan muslimin it doesn't matter if he's from jamaat takfir you have to accept because the truth is what unites ahl sunnah the truth is what you are called to uh, and 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 what you must call to and that's the Book of Allah and the Son of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The second fara on this is that those things lem li mujarid fi'l ahl al bid'ah lahu that something that is legislated in the Quran and the Sunnah, we do not leave it just because someone from Ahl al Bid'ah does it. 
So for example, because uh, you know, this is an maybe extreme example, but uh, um, uh, Jamaat uh, Jamaat uh, Jamaat Tablik. Okay, their dawah, they base part of their usul is just calling people to salat. That's haq. So Ahl Sunnah doesn't say no, we're not going to invite people to salat, but we are precedents. We give precedence to, of course, aqidah and rectifying the aqidah. We don't limit our dawah to just calling to salat, but that doesn't negate calling people back to the prayer and calling back to the masjid. So we don't say, well, Jamaat Tablik does that, I'm not going to do that. No, because have a muwafiq al haq because this, there is agreements with the haq, it's just how they do it. So I think that's, I hope that's very, that's very important for us to, to know that we're always restricted to the truth. We always have to follow the truth, even if it's from Ahl Bid'ah. Uh, another important fara on this is that knowing and understanding that uh, every individual may have something of the truth and may have something of falsehood. So even our ulama that we love, beloved, uh, dearly, that Kullu ibn Adam khata, kama qala Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Kullu ibn Adam khata wa khayran khatayina tawabun. All the children of Adam make mistakes and the best of those who sin or make mistakes are the tawabun, those who make repentance to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Another thing which uh, is very important regarding this uh, principle is that that you do not refute falsehood with falsehood and this is so important how many refutations have we seen from people who claim to be Salafi because Salafis are generally the ones who are refuting but you have Ahl Bidah also refuting people as well but since that is known from our Dawah we have many people don't know how to refute and many people who don't even know Salafiyya, Haqiqatan, they know Hizbiyya cloaked in Salafiyya. And Al-Ibrabi Haqqaiq Laysa Bima Samiyat, the reality of something is in its substance, not in its name. So there are people who say they're Salafi, but they are the blind followers of Sheikh so-and-so and Sheikh so-and-so, as much as the Sufis follow uh, whoever from amongst the Sufis. Kabani and, and all these other Western Sufis and Eastern Sufis, Sufis around the world. And so this is a very dangerous trait and we do not refute falsehood with falsehood. And this is where a lot of the groups of innovation, the sects in the past from uh, the Mu'tazila, the Jahmiya, all these groups, they were refuting one another, the Murjia and the Khawarij, but they would bring falsehood with falsehood. They would go from one stream to another and Ahl Sunnah was in the middle. So they would say, hey, we don't want to make a resemble, for example, we don't want to make a resemblance between Allah and his creation, so we will negate the sifat of Allah. Okay, so here, those groups, the Ma'adila, those groups that negate the sifat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they fleed from tashbih, from making a resemblance between Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his creation, which is haq. To, to make uh, 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 to free free years free uh, you know um, uh, to not associate or make a resemblance between Allah and His creation. That's truth. We don't make a resemblance. Ahl Sunnah does not make a resemblance, and this is kufr. As Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, "Laysa kamit li shay wul samiyun basir." Nothing is like unto Him. Uh, nothing uh, resembles Him, and He is the all hearing and all seeing. And so, but. They fleed from that to another extreme to where they said, no, we believe Allah is our Rahman, but he doesn't possess Rahmah, he doesn't possess mercy. So they negated the sifat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because they were afraid of making sifat. They only understand in their intellect that the sifat of the creation must be, uh, you know, all sifat are the same. So if you say Allah has sifat, that means you're making him like his creation. But this is a khata and that's falsehood. So they rejected falsehood which was tishbi, resemblance, by making another bid'ah, which was negating Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's uh, sifat in totality. So that's rutting a bid'ah with a bid'ah, or rutting, refuting falsehood with falsehood. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and Muhammad.